Hi, this is Keith Furrow with Keith Furrow Associates. Um, today we wanted to talk to you about some features in a house that we think um, homeowners should really think about and, and determine from the long-term perspective. Now, some of these issues pertain if it would be a new home and you're choosing a new home. And some of these would be if you had an existing home and you were looking at renovating it or remodeling it. Now, one of the first things that come up, and, and this specifically I'm talking about is the south. Uh, we're, we're in northwest Florida, so I'm talking about the southeast. In the southeast, recently, fireplaces have sort of gone out of vogue. Some of that is because of the cost, increased cost of a fireplace. And let's face it, you have a hole in your house, another place that it can leak, and another place that you might have a problem. Now, one of the things that some people have done is they've gone to natural gas or propane, so you have the ease of using a fireplace. And I'll be honest, we have a fireplace. I love it. We use it a lot, often in the winter, and it does warm up our great room area, and it's, it's a lot of fun. It's good for, you know, hanging stockings, that kind of thing. But that's kind of a personal thing, and the trend is, is to not have that in all the homes. Now, um, another thing is, is you have to rethink whether you have natural gas or propane. Um, for example, propane, I'm told, isn't really a good cooking source. And But if you go with natural gas and you go with, um, they have these tankless water heaters, that may be a positive thing. So you have to re really think about, do I want my home to be all electric? Do I want my home to be all, you know, combined with gas? And with some of the, the, last week we went to a meeting that they talked about, they have a new system they add onto the tankless water heaters that make a moist heat more affordable. So the process is always changing, but it's important to not get pigeonholed into something that you specifically don't like or don't want. Now, some of the things we're told about in some other parts of the country is, do you want oil heat? We don't really have that in the South, at least not none of the ones that I'm aware of. Um, another thing that we, we would recommend that you really think about before you do it and maybe would tend to avoid would be mirrored walls. Mirrored walls go in and out of style. Some people don't want to see themselves. Other people do. And you have to realize that depending on how you trim it and if it's, if it's glued down or how it's put down, it may be very difficult to move and may be very expensive. So that's one thing that we're currently told to avoid. Again, if you have those, there's ways to work around those as far as decorating, but again, that's a personal choice. Now, if we're talking about building or we're talking about remodeling a house, something you have to consider is how many windows do I have facing on the south? Again, we're talking about the south, the southeast here. And if you have a lot of windows that face the south, it can add a lot of heat gain to your house. Now, some of the ways that this is handled is a little more of an upgraded window, a vinyl window, and possibly with low E, uh, insulated, argon filled. I mean, there's things to do to help that. And if you have an existing house, you can use filters or you can get uh, tenting that'll help that. But these are things to consider um, when you're going to build a house. How many windows do I want on that wall? And I've Obviously, if you have a, a south golf view or you have a sound view of, of the water, that's going to change, you know, change that. Um, now, glass doors as far as acrylic windows and types of doors, you have to think these things through because there are different styles that go in and out uh, as far as popularity and, you know, some things that are popular today may not be popular in the future. So you have to kind of look at your use of it. Um, skylights seem to be going out because of the fact that they tend to get moisture if they if they don't leak. And in and the worst case, they may leak. So that's something that is not necessarily a popular item. Although I've seen some high-end ones where people had some things that were uh, canister types that were a lot better. So again, Typically, that's not something that most of builders want to do because they've learned through the hard way that those things can be a problem. Um, now, one of the things that we're told is that wall-to-wall -wall carpet is, is going out. And what that means is the entire house, one carpet, one style, wall to wall. Well, what happens is, is that when you have a room, when you go from one room that you would want to have tile or wood, there's not transition strips. So what that means is, is when you go back in to change that or add that, it's an extra expense. The finish work may or may not be that great. Now, the current trend is, is to do things like concrete overlays, uh, wood floors, uh, travertine, these type of things, which are more expensive, but a lot of those are pretty much timeless. They, they'll add value to the home and they'll look good for, for many, many years. The builders oftentimes will do certain things to save cost because every little item that you add does add cost to the, to the final bottom line. So I hope this gives you some ideas, some things that you might really want to consider before you make that final decision on your home. Thank you.